What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another all new episode of the Super Friends Podcast where we break down all of the latest news outside of the DC Universe, or I guess in the DC Universe. I'm joined by Tim. How's it going everyone? We actually have some new information on production start dates from two future DCEU movies, one of which we definitely knew was going to happen, one of which seemed a little more up in the air. Uh, but the ball seems to be rolling there. First and foremost, Wonder Woman 2, a widely, uh, I guess, widely expected film. That's a weird way to put that, but a lot of people definitely expected Wonder Woman 2 to happen after the first Wonder Woman became basically a cultural phenomenon. And the sequel, actually, it was, uh, I think, the earliest rumors said it's going to begin filming this summer um, with a release date aimed at December 2019. And now we know for sure from our friends over at Omega Underground, uh, the film is set to begin production on May 28th, which is actually a little bit earlier than I think a lot of people were uh, expecting, and it's going to be filming in uh, the UK. I don't know. What do you you make of this? There's not a lot of questions that I could ask based off of this. Like, what do you think? Is that too soon to start filming? You know? Uh, Yeah, I I mean... I'm sh- like I'm sure that they've been working on it like this whole time if they're already thinking of potential casting options. Well, I mean the casting to me like even if they were going to begin filming in June for the major characters we would have been hearing about it right about now but I mean yeah. with it coming, you know, filming starting potentially even sooner, literally in in a little two and a half months, we're going to be hearing about some more casting very very soon. We're going to get some more details um probably within the next month or so, I would bet. I think they want to just strike while the iron's hot, like, ride the wave that they set up. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's not not a dumb idea. It's a pretty smart move, if you ask me. Looking at our next uh, kind of story right in this vein, Suicide Squad 2 is uh, filming this year as well. And this one's a little more interesting because, of course, the first Suicide Squad, not a huge success uh, by any stretch of the imagination. It is an Academy Award-winning film, which people hesitate to bring up. Really, just waving that around. Put it back in your pants, guys. Uh, But, alright. Suicide Squad 2 is going to begin filming in the same studio, uh, actually, in in England this October. So that's going to get going presumably for an early 2020 release date. Yeah. What do you think about that? I mean, is is it something... Are you expected that they're moving on that that quickly? It's honestly not as quickly as Wonder Woman. I mean, there's been some time since Suicide Squad 1 came out. And they've been they've been talking about it, like, ever since then, so like, it's not surprising to me that they're starting production in fall. Feels like just yesterday I heard those holy words. This is Katana. I'd advise not getting killed by her. She has her my sword back. Trapped, she has my back. Her sword traps the souls of the people she kills. That, those words that those I've are the by. best lines in any DC movie. Literally, no wonder it was an Academy Award winner. <laughs> um, anyways, and people were upset about like any of Ultron's dialogue. No, you don't get to be upset about that and and let things like this is Katana. And... This is her whole deal and backstory. Remember how she like didn't say anything in the movie? No, she uh, had like three lines in the entire movie in the same scene. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, great film, Academy Award winning film. That font of wisdom. That is the Academy of, of Motion Picture Sciences. Uh, anyways, I'm bitter. Let's uh, move. I don't want to say. I don't want to move on just yet. I mean, it was never in doubt that they were going to make a sequel because you've got this cast probably signed to like three picture deals at least. Plus you got to do something. It with made them. a good amount of money when it came out. It's made not the highest change. grossing film of that year, but it did admirable. Yeah, it was. I mean, it made enough to justify a sequel for sure. Yeah. Um, and, of course, they hired uh, Gavin O'Connor from The Accountant, so potentially going to have a little more of an action, uh, a little more of an action bent to it than David Ayer, I guess. Uh, but, anyways, definitely an interesting thing to follow. I don't know, this looks like it's probably going to be, you know, not be coming out until early 2020 at this point. Maybe this is going to be the February movie for 2020, who knows. Uh, could also be like an early, early summer, like a, a May, if they want to go toe-to-toe with whatever Marvel movie insulated for them uh, anything you want anything you want from suicide squad 2 any characters you want to show up uh, dream castings I, I don't know if i have any dream casting but characters i want to see are um i want to see well i want to see katana back of course oh she's got to come back yep. slipknot uh headless <laughs> headless slipknot yes headless slipknot uh i i think in terms of new characters i want to see um Bra- i based on his name for a sec bronze tiger i'd be cool yeah Michael Jai White reprising his Arrowverse role. Woo! Confirming that the timeline is fucked. Yep. Uh, I mean, yeah, I would love to see 
uh, King Shark. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, King... I I was going to say King Shark, but he's kind of redundant if they're bringing Killer Croc back. I want to see Killer Croc fight King Shark. Would that be the whole movie? No. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to, like, think back of, like, uh, members of the Suicide Squad that I really want to see. And maybe introduce Arsenal this way. Like... Potentially. Yeah. Before Green Arrow, introduce Arsenal. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. We busted this kid doing heroin. We're putting him on the suicide squad. He's got squad. one arm and he keeps talking about his exactly. dead daughter. I um, mean, maybe Deathstroke, seeing as Deathstroke's not going to be in the Batman anymore. Maybe he uh, maybe he makes his first appearance in Suicide Squad too. But we know Those Black are, Adam's like, potentially going to do that happening a while ago, I think. Him and, you know, the Suicide Squad versus Black Adam would be interesting to see. I think uh, that'd be a hell of a movie right there.